Many people think that becoming a millionaire is impossible or they can never reach that in their life. That millionaires are just lucky and that's it. Today, we're going to go into what you guys can do to plan for a retirement where you will retire as a millionaire and see that it is possible. One of the favorite tools that Kirby showed me early on was the compound interest calculator. I think this is a good tool just to see and just to actually play around with to get an idea of what you can accomplish if you just stay consistent with investing. Um, you know, obviously this tool is not going to put the money in for you. You got to do the work, but it'll give you an idea of what you can expect down the line. So Kirby, if you could pull up the compound interest calculator, we're going to go through this real quick there's plenty of compound interest calculators online this is just one of them that kirby pulled up but can you see my screen yep yep i can see it okay there we go so we're gonna keep it kind of just simple for you guys for everyone um we know that not everyone can jump in and start investing say you know five grand a month or nothing like that but let's say you just start the investment with 250 dollars so that would be your initial deposit. And then your contribution amount per month would be 250 as well. And so you can see it's very basic on how to use this calculator. So per month, you can see guys says contribution frequency is monthly and then years of growth will put 40 years. So let's say you guys went to the club for seven years from 18 to 25 and then realize you need to get your money straight. So 40 years, 25 to 65. And then estimated rate of return, let's just say like the average rate of return for the S&P 500 was 10%. And then compound frequency would be annually. And so that's 1.4 million off of investing 250 a month for 40 years. Now, obviously you're not a multimillionaire and yes, there is inflation. So by that point, it may not be the same buying power as it would be today, but that's still pretty impressive for just 250 a month. And obviously it all varies. You know, if you start at 18 and I'm sure Kirby, if you could put uh, 47 years, let's just say if someone jumped on it right at 18, just a seven year difference can give you another million. And that's why albert einstein says investing is what is it the sixth wonder of the world uh, you know it the eighth was well, i'm way off compound interest compound interest yeah eighth wonder of the world yeah i'm way off <laughs> exactly um you know compounding because you got to think so at this point by the next year you know 48 years it's gonna give you another 10 percent off of that 2.7 million and it that's how it compounds now, it all depends on your age. I don't know what age range is exactly watching this video, but, you know, you can just use this calculator and see, you know, what year or what age do you want to retire at? How many years is that from now? And how much are you going to need to invest to actually reach that goal? It's going to, you know, if you're older, you're going to have to put in more money. If you're younger, I mean, still put in more money. You can make a lot more. But it's just to show you guys that it's still very achievable and becoming a millionaire just requires consistency i would say but kirby what do you right think? yeah and like you said i mean me i'm a little older and and like i said depending on the age range and the best time to start is yesterday the next best time to start investing is today and as you say the the older you are, the more you have to invest to get there. So let's say somebody that's investing at, let's say, 40 years old. So now let's say you got 25 years before you reach 65 and the Social Security kicks in. FYI, people, Social Security is not going to cover your lifestyle. But so now with this same method at 40 years old, if you only invest in 25, $250, you got $311,000. It's better than what you have if you do nothing. But the key here is the older you get, the more you have to invest. So now instead of putting, you know, 250, let's go 500, 500 initial and then 500 on a monthly basis. 
that gives you $622,000. But then let's say your initial investment is a thousand and then your monthly contribution is a thousand. That's roughly what you need at the age of 40 to get to about $1.2 million. So if you just want a million dollars to say that, that's great. But then this is one that I always see people, the estimated uh, rate of return. Everybody always asking, everybody always say 10%, 8%. Where do you find this at? This is, and I'm just going to go to uh, CNBC. That's where I believe I can go and get this CNBC. I'm going to go to CNBC and then I'm going to provide you with one place where you can get a 10% return. All right. As you see right now, at the time of this video, that the S&P 500 is at a 52 week high. But yes, don't be shell shocked by the number of 460. But as you see here, this, I don't know how far we can go back in time. But all right, so since 1994, since 1994, you see the ups, you see the downs, you see the ups, you see the downs, and you see the parabolic up move. But on average, on average, the returns is between 10 or 11%. So if you're looking to see where you could put your money at, and then if this if this went further back to you know the 19 you know 40s 30s it would average you know between the 90 and 11 percent return so if you're looking to see where you can put your money at you could just open a broker's account put the ticker symbol spy and just keep investing there over and over and over again and yes investing investing they say it's a risk but if though what's the alternative the alternative is you go to retirement age with nothing and you hoping on social security if it's still available when you reach that uh that time length and you have nothing so the best thing to do is start investing but for the people that need something to invest in the spy you can go what's another one voo is another popular one that's out there but spy is to me the best best avenue to take to go there and this right here voo is the, the vanguard s p 500 as you see this one is at a 52 week high also but if you just keep investing put the initial deposit in there and just keep investing monthly the expense ratio is little to nothing to invest in these and you just keep investing it just this year alone in 2023 the spy is up 20 i mean the voo is up 20.37 percent so those are avenues where you can invest voo spy and some other ones out there for the people that that are scared of the index fund and seeing money move all the time you can you can invest in a mutual fund that's indexed to the s p 500 uh also i don't have the ticker symbols right here available but i can find it Alex, do you have one just off the top of your head? I'm sorry. For a ETF or for a mutual fund? Mutual fund, mutual fund. Uh, one that I just started investing in is SWPPX. I just switched to this one. All right. So there you go right there. So this right here, SWPPX. This right here is the S&P 500 uh, mutual fund that's indexed to the S&P 500 is index right there you see the expense ratio the year to date change is 20.76 so right in line with the s p 500 and then now you see it say 70 dollars for all you people that was ticker shocked at 460 but it's still the same percentage gains and things of that nature and this is you know now we gave you three avenues that you can invest in so swppx voo for etf spy for etfs also so that is three avenues. So now you can't say people didn't give you the idea where to invest the money. But going back to this calculator here, now I think if I hit back a couple of times, I'll get there. All right. The key component is get started. Don't overanalyze it. Don't uh, try to have analysis paralysis about it. It's just get started. Invest, 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 and keep investing. Yeah, I know you thinking you're in your 20s and 30s. Oh, I can use that money to go buy a Birkin bag. I can go to the club. I can do all that. So you're willing to sacrifice one day for the rest of your life because 
truth be told, and it's a lot of people walking around here in the United States, mainly in Florida, that you're seeing that they thought that Social Security or if they had pensions was going to take care of them. But the truth is, they didn't. It's not enough money, especially here in Florida. You know, Social Security is about what? about fourteen to eighteen hundred dollars a month that can get you a one bedroom here in Florida one bedroom and it ain't in the best neighborhoods in the world either and then you still got utilities some people still have car payments some people still got student loan debt then what do you do if you got pension don't forget the medical you still got to pay for and all that all that money's gone and you're sitting there with nothing so you need a third or fourth avenue of income or a cash hoard of money to set you up i mean of course this channel we always talking about passive income you know investing in stuff that will keep paying you on a monthly weekly quarterly basis but these are some things like the spy it pays a dividend on a quarterly basis every three months it pays a dividend but if you don't start investing early it won't, the dividend won't be enough to cover what you need to cover in your golden years so this this is a real step uh let me stop sharing the screen now alex this is a real step here to get you to get that you know millionaire because everybody wants to see a million dollars in their bank account i really don't care about seeing that number only thing i really care about seeing this monthly income coming in and then there's different avenues to do that i mean we talk about you know selling options if you want to look at selling options look at some of the previous videos we have about that or it's a lot of content out there about selling options to get that weekly income to cover your financial needs um and speaking on uh selling options i i did an exercise with somebody that called me and i asked him i said what is your cell phone bill and then they told me the sell the cell phone bill was 200 dollars a month and then so alex i'm gonna have to pull up a calculator because i went to public school so <laughs> and they're in there they're around your age about 25 years old so they say 200 dollars a month so 200 dollars a month times 12 months that is $2,400 a month, right? $2,400 a month. Let's say, let's just say they make it 65 times 65 years. I mean, times 40 years. Sorry, not 65, it's 40. Because they already had 25 times 40 years. That's $96,000. That's $96,000 in a, by the time they hit 65, they paid on a cell phone bill. So then I asked them, I said, why not put $2,500 on a stock get 100 shares and then sell options and then you just use the premium from the options that you sell to pay that 200 dollars cell phone bill every month and then so now you're paying that same cell phone bill for the same 2500 dollars then paying ninety six thousand dollars. that's the difference between people mindset they don't look at they don't look at the totality of the number they just look at the monthly bill oh i can afford the monthly bill i can afford the monthly bill but it's always cheaper ways to do things. Other people are willing to pay for your lifestyle. You just got to put up the apparatuses to make that happen. But selling options is a great way to pay bills on a monthly basis at a way cheaper price than it would if you had to pay for it out of your pocket from the income that you're receiving from a job, from Social Security, from, uh, from pensions and things of that nature. So that's just another avenue out there. And that's what a lot of millionaires are doing they're just finding ways for people to pay for their lifestyle you know via real estate via buying businesses not creating just buying businesses and then using that uh cash flow that's coming in weekly monthly quarterly to pay for their lifestyle and that's the true millionaire lifestyle not just having a million dollars sitting in the bank ballots well, what you got sorry i went too long no we'll close it out there with all that being said guys hit the like button uh leave us a comment down below or if you have any questions, ask us in the comment section. Uh, share this video, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one.